Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the book, The Dot. And so we're celebrating Dot Day by everybody that goes to Yates is going to create their own dot. And lots of kids in Fayette County schools are also doing this project, which is pretty cool. So at this point, you're going to want to go gather the materials you'll need to work so that you can kind of be working along with the videos and the um, the presentation that your teacher is showing you. So you're going to need some sort of paper. So I have just an old piece of cardboard um, that I could use to trace my circle on. Another, just a smaller piece of cardboard. They can be any size, big or small, just like Vashti in the book. She made a really big dot and a really small dot. Um, something that's really cool that you can make dots on are coffee filters. Um, and you'll see some of those later in the presentation. And also, paper plates are always a good, trusty go-to. They're thick and hardy, and you can paint on them or draw on them, so those are cool too. So you want to get a piece of paper, and then you're also going to want to get a circle to trace. Um, now, if you're, if you're using a paper plate, that's your circle. But if you're drawing a circle, like on a piece of paper... Um, you can just find some recycled materials, little cups around your house, like maybe a little bowl. Um, I used a coffee can, so I just put that on and traced it. Um, so whatever you have, you want to go ahead and, and um, trace that. So you would just lay your, um, lay your item on top like this. Hold it securely so it doesn't move, and then take a pencil and just trace around that shape until you get all the way back around. Okay, so that's how you get your circle on the paper. And then the last thing is um, you need materials to color with. So I have, we're going to be using color pencils, crayons, um, some watercolor paints. Uh, markers, really whatever you have. You could use torn paper, tear little papers and glue it on. These are really handy to have. They're little, um, they make little dots. We've used them in art class, so you guys probably recognize those. Um, if anyone in your house plays bingo, you they might use these. Sometimes they use these, they're called blotters for bingo. So those are cool too because they make dots. So we'll be using those too in, in a later video. So go ahead, take maybe a minute and go gather your materials now.